All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepke Show. I'm One Bar, and you were reading that right. Sam Darnold being reported by Tom Pelissero that he could actually be an option for the Minnesota Vikings next year if they can't get something done with Kirk Cousins. We're going to talk about that. Before we do that, remember to subscribe to the channel, like the videos here every damn day, talking Minnesota Vikings. We're trying to get to 12K before draft day, so hit that sub button. Hit that sub button, and you know what? Hit it now, and if you don't like us after draft, unsubscribe, but I don't think you will. Uh, all right, Sam Darnold. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. We're going to break it down. I'm going to make this very easy. I'm not going to sit and break down Sam Darnold's game and what he's good at, what he's bad at. The gist with Sam Darnold is he had all the tools. Uh, he just hasn't put it together in the NFL. He's been on a handful of teams already, and it just has not worked. There's a lot of excuses, whether we want to call him that or not. Why it hasn't worked out, a bunch of offensive coordinators has been on very bad teams. Um, whatever it is, he was the backup for the Niners this year. Um and uh, he, this was his actual first year of being a free agent. The 49ers signed him to a $4.5 million contract. And now he will be a free agent once again. And the Vikings could be sniffing around him. So there's really only one scenario that this works. They're not going to sign, sign Sam Darnold to be their future. They're not going to give Sam Darnold a four or five year contract. No way in hell. Whoever signs him, even if it's the Vikings, it's a one year deal. It's a prove it deal. It's a it's a hey, let's maybe maybe we maybe you can do what uh, Baker Mayfield did with the Bucks this year, and the Bucks struck gold. Baker Mayfield came in, lit it up. He looked fantastic, and now he's going to get paid. And the Bucks have a quarterback of the future. So there's that scenario, or it's just straight up a bridge quarterback. Like man, hey, we need to sign you. We're going to draft somebody, and uh, you're going to be the starter until you either suck so bad or you just hold it down for the year. And that would absolutely be the scenario for the Vikings. They're not going to sign Sam Darnold and have Nick Mullins back him up, and it's just like, that's our quarterback situation. No way in hell. If they did that, that would be disgusting. That would be gross. It would give really no hope for the future unless the 2% chance he actually plays like a Baker Mayfield. Nelson's like, holy shit, this guy's fantastic. Um, this would be the scenario. You sign Sam Darnold, probably similar contract that the Niners did last year, one year, four and a half million, whatever it is. Uh, and then you draft your quarterback. You don't draft your quarterback in round four, round five. You go up and and get your quarterback, whether that's trading up into the top three, whether that's somebody falling in your lap at pick 11, whatever. And then you say, Sam, you're a starting quarterback. Here's the job and see what happens. And when I say see what happens, I mean either Darnold holds it down, which is a win because then a rookie quarterback, not forced into it, no pressure, gets to hang out on the year on the bench. For a year, which you know what, that's what that, that used to be the standard. And now what we've seen the last well, quite a few years now, the quarterbacks just get chucked in there right off the bat. And the bus potential goes way up when that happens. I mean, that's what happened with Sam Darnold. So I love the thought of a rookie quarterback just hanging on the bench. Anyways, so it's either that or Sam Darnold comes in and by week four, week five, it's a train wreck. It's a disaster. And the coaches are just like, look, we got to go with the rookie quarterback. Sam, the man hit the bench. And when that rookie quarterback's coming in, he's not coming in for a Kirk Cousins that just got hurt. He's not coming into a, a four and one team that has a bunch of potential. And all of a sudden he's going to come in and, and blow it all up and ruin it. He would have no pressure. He's coming into a team that is playing like crap. A quarterback, that the Vikings fan just saw play like crap for the last four or five weeks. All he can do is look good. I mean, yeah, he could have a, he'll have some games. I'm sure he doesn't look overly fantastic, but he could be the hero. He can give us hope. Maybe not this season, but he can do something. He can come in. He can come in just like what Ponder did with uh, was it McNabb that one year. I mean, obviously that didn't pan out, but that's the only scenario. You bring Sam Darnold in for a year, bridge quarterback. You have to get that rookie quarterback on the roster if you go this road. So I don't hate it. I don't care. I mean, if we're not going to get Kirk, we're probably not going to be very good next year. We're, our options to sign guys are going to be like Sam Darnold or just get a rookie quarterback and start him week one. But uh, I like the idea of Sam Darnold getting signed or whoever it might be. Anoint him the starter. Let the rookie quarterback come in when he, when he has to or, or maybe even the next year. There you have it. Let me know. Sam the man, Darnold. Do you like the thought of him being quarterback? Let me know in the comments.